I was recently in the mood for some cybersecurity, and I started to think about a certain wire mini game. The goal in the Among Us version is to connect a wire from the left to the corresponding colored wire on the right. This made me think, without the colors, how many shapes of wire configurations are there? The total comes out to 24 shapes of wire configurations. However, things get more interesting when you say that wires can't cross. If we use this constraint, and there's only one way to connect these wires, assuming we can only use straight lines. So if you're ever lucky enough to get all straight lines, you can feel special knowing that it was a 1 in 24 chance. This started to remind me of the satisfying grid patterns for my animation adventure. Instead of just connecting points from the left to the right, what if we had a grid of points? This time, we want to connect all points with vertical and horizontal lines, and the lines can't cross. Well, as it turns out, there are only eight ways to do this on a 3x3 grid from a single starting point. All these wire games seem like they would be fun to mess around with, so I made one in Godot. I added various settings for these different situations that we've gone over, including allowing wires to cross, and only allowing cardinal directions. This simulator could be fun to use in a future project about being a hacker and trying to break into a keypad, or perhaps a puzzle game where you have to find the pattern written on a scrap of paper. If you allow crossed wires and don't restrict to cardinal directions, a rough estimate for the number of possible patterns is 9 factorial. Of course, this approximation doesn't take into account that we restrict connecting through other points. Though 9 factorial is quite secure, at least for something that requires human interaction. I guess that's why they use it as a way to enter pin codes on Android phones. If you have some ideas for cybersecurity games where this could be used, or other interesting topics for future videos, let me know in the comments or discord below. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.